hi guys uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today what we are going to do is we are going to work on a problem statement and in the coming days or months i don't know but we'll be taking a problem in any video which is coming now and then we'll discuss about the problem and we'll try to resolve it uh, with the best of the approach what we know maybe if you know the better approach please let me know in the comments but let's get in to the problem so uh, today we are going to do we are going to solve a problem where we wanted to merge two strings you will be given two strings string one which will be query and string two one two three okay so when uh, it is called like you have to merge the string alternatively so what the result would be the first character from the string one and then the from the string two in our case it is q1 then w and then you have two and then you have e and then you have three and then whatever is left out you will be appending your result with that easy enough and there can be a case we are like the string uh, one is the smaller string whereas the string two is the bigger string and we wanted to merge them so in this case what the result would be one q and then 2 w and then 3 and e and now you are left out with rty so instead of first case we are the this was the case when string 1 is query in this case string 2 is query so you will be getting the result something like this so there can be a, a case where like you have string 1 as empty then you can directly return string 2 another one where string 2 is empty and you can return string 1 the basic uh, flow which we would be writing it would be going like i'll quickly write the method and then we will go through it what all the parameters and the return type is so what i have done is this is how my method would be so what it is doing it has a parameter it is taking pa two parameters string one string two and then returning the result string so this is how my method should be let me return an empty string so that i can bypass this warning and how I would be calling it, let me write some test cases. This is how we would be testing a method, say like if I pass query and uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 query, I can pass first as an empty, then this, and then this, and this. Oh, let me quickly write the result which I am expecting and then we'll start working on the problem. So here we are, these are the tests which we wanted to run on our uh, method to get the respective results. Before actually diving into the problem, uh, let's write it how we are going to solve it. Let me quickly add comment statement and then we can discuss on this. So the very first thing, since uh, let's work on the very uh, last case which is result 4 there can be a possibility like you have a result 1 and the result 2 is empty around other way around uh, where result the string 2 you have but the string 1 is empty so what we will be doing is the first is empty then what we are going to do is we are we should differentiate uh, which string is the bigger and which string is the smaller so uh, find the smaller and bigger string easy enough okay and then what we need to do is we need to iterate through the small count so assume in this case my count is one two three four five six but here it is one two three okay so i need to iterate through the minimum count so say like my loop i have to run a loop a loop for the smaller string count so you got to know what we are doing is we are running a loop for smaller string smaller string count and appending the result string after that once this is done uh, then run another loop for the bigger string so in this case the bigger string is the first one but in this case the bigger string is the other one run another loop for the bigger string and append the 
రిజల్ట్ అండ్ ద లాస్ట్ స్టెప్ రిటర్న్ ది రిజల్ట్ క్లియర్ ఎనఫ్ సో వాట్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఈస్ ఫైండ్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఇట్స్ ఎంటీ ఫైండ్ ద స్మాలర్ అండ్ ద బిగ్గర్ స్ట్రింగ్ సో ఇన్ ఆర్ దిస్ కేస్ స్ట్రింగ్ వన్ ఇస్ బిగ్గర్ స్ట్రింగ్ టూ ఇస్ స్మాలర్ దెన్ విల్ రన్ థ్రూ అ లూప్ ఫర్ ద కౌంట్ విచ్ వన్ ఈస్ ద స్మాలెస్ట్ కౌంట్ దిస్ వన్ ఓకే ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ దిస్ వన్ సో త్రీ ఈస్ ద స్మాలర్ కౌంట్ సో విల్ రన్ ద లూప్ సో ఐల్ స్టార్ట్ పికింగ్ దిస్ వెల్యూ దిస్ వెల్యూ దిస్ వెల్యూ and then i am going to append the result then we will since if the both the strings are unequal so what will happen one string will left out with some left out characters so what we will do is we will take those characters and append the final string i am going to write for the step 1 where we will actually identify the if the string is empty so give me a moment so what we are doing here is if my string 1 count is 0 then return string 2 if my string 2 count is 0 str return string 1 else do the another calculation so let's go to the find the smaller and the bigger string uh, this is for the finding the smaller and the bigger string we'll write it th through this code to make it more readable so here if my string is greater than string 2 so in my case so if string count is 4 which is greater than 2 so which one is my uh, smaller string my string 2 is the smaller one okay so what we have done is we have found the smaller and the bigger string let's we will run through our loop for the smaller string count and append the result so what i will do is i will so this what we wanted to do is here is we wanted to run through the smaller string so what we are trying to do we will try to calculate the value here so what we are missing out somewhere is uh, okay there are uh, so what i am doing is i will take string 1 i'll convert it into an array of strings and then i'll pass an index so since it's a string 1 so what will be the output q let's take this example so here i get q okay now what i want is i want result so what i wanted to add in my result i wanted to add q so let me quickly have two variables which will say var result okay which is equal to empty string and then last in index which is basically right now it is 0 or we know the last index is the minimum count result let's do it my result string will be okay so what did i do here is i created a result variable i iterated through the smaller string count uh, which is smaller string count is in the for the first test case it is 3 uh, okay and then what i'll say is i will iterate through the value 1 i'll convert my string to array and then i will take the value which is of at index so which is q and then i'll make my result so my result will be this q now what i want is my second is this thing so let me do nothing but let me copy this thing and let me do value 2 which is from string 2 fine and i will append the value like this so string 2 is 1 but now in this case my resultant will have become value 2 easy enough okay so this will iterate three times so the first time and then second time then three time so first time it is q then w and value will become qw here it will be one 
2 result will be w2 and then r qr here r and 3 and this is how my loop will iterate through okay so what we have done here is uh, we find any of the string if it is empty we have done that find the smaller and the bigger string it is done here we did then what we did is run a loop for the smaller string count and append the result string so what we have got result out of this line here in the first case is q1 w2 3 now we are left out with rty and this will be this will be in the bigger string okay so what i will do is let me for okay you so now we have got the result like this what i will be adding it will be adding q w e let me correct this my bad okay so i just correct it so it will be q w e now we are left out with the first time when the loop will r t and y clear so what we did here run another loop and then we will return result okay so let me comment all the test cases and run for the first one So now Q1, W2, E3, RTY. So we have got our first result. So let me print the second result, which is, let me take this out and one, two, three. Okay. So what will happen in this case? One, two, three, RTY. Okay, so the last one I wanted to test here is this result is done. We wanted to test this one. Uh, let me quickly write a print for this. So let's quickly run through our problem. What we wanted to do is alternately merge two strings. So I took the case where query and then one, two, three. So I wanted the result to be like this. What we did, what we did in this case is find any of the string is empty, return that, find the smaller and the bigger string because you have to deal with their first string can be a smaller string. The second string can be a bigger string. We've figured that out. Once we know that we ran through the smaller loop. Okay. And now uh, once that is done, we will run through the bigger loop and then we will return the result okay so this is uh, the code which we have written it i will upload this on github uh, if you have any inputs on this code please let me know in the comments and i'll see you in my next video with the next problem thank you bye bye